Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to float partitions and walls using this white rectangular partition as an example. This will work for any partition type item, even including like stage panels, but this is what I had handy. <laughs> this is a super helpful glitch and can help you do everything from covering up not so pretty stairs and railings to creating built-in fish tanks and even fireplaces. I've even used it to create this incredibly complex ceiling, which I do not recommend trying because it is a royal pain in the butt to make, and you're about to see why. So, to float this partition, you're going to need two pieces of equipment. You're going to need a stage panel and a Riviera wall shelf. If you don't have these on hand, the stage panels are pretty cheap from most housing merchants, and Riviera wall shelves can be crafted. The first thing that you'll need to do is line up your white rectangular partition where you want it to be when it's floating. All that really matters is that the center is where you need it, as indicated by the little icon that shows up when you click on it with either move or rotate. There have been times, you know, where I've needed to float a partition at the wrong angle and rotate it into place once it's up there, usually if you're trying to get too close to an actual wall and can't line everything up properly. Once you have your partition where you'd like it, Take your stage panel and place it just behind where that icon showed up on your partition. If you have to like reselect and kind of line it up visually, see I want my, uh, my stage panel right about here. All that matters is that your stage panel is just behind where that icon shows up on your partition. Where this shows up is considered the item's hitbox and you will need this to be just right for this glitch to work. So, once you have your stage panel in place, it's time for your Riviera wall shelf. Now, this is where you need to be really careful. The reason I use Riviera wall shelves for this, you could technically use a different kind of wall shelf, but the reason I like them is because they are the exact right thickness for pushing your partition up. If you go any further than the thickness of the shelf, there is a very good chance that your partition will just fall to the floor, no matter how high up you floated it. So from here on out, you're gonna use the same technique as I highlighted in my wooden loft glitch video. First, make sure your snap grid is off. Make sure your wall shelf is in your inventory, not your storage. Take your Riviera wall shelf and line it up very carefully with the partition's hitbox at the absolute lowest spot on your stage panel, just like that. As soon as you place your wall shelf, hit escape on your keyboard or circle on your controller. This will shimmy your partition ever so slightly up off the floor. Go back into your furnishings menu, move your Riviera wall shelf back into your inventory and rinse and repeat. Place it very carefully so that the bottom pixel of the wall shelf is still technically below the partition and you'll, you should be fine. Then you hit escape or circle and watch your partition float. Once you have it to the height you want, turn your snap grid back on and rotate your partition. This just kind of locks it in place. Now, a word to the wise. If you are going to be floating more than one partition, there is a very good chance that you're going to hit one partition's hitbox while you're floating the other one. So be sure to rotate lock it again. So that's it for today's video. If you have a glitch that you'd like to see in action, or if there's a specific build that you'd like to know how to do, just let me know in the comments below. See you next time.